Good afternoon, everybody. Greetings from Mexico. It's your friend Gregorio. Today, I'm going to share from my acclaimed mental health recovery workbook, Better Days, a passage titled Resiliency. And then I'm going to answer the questions that accompany the passage. And then I'm going to pat a cat because there's a cat sitting right here waiting to be pat. And there's a cat outside my door waiting to be fed. I'm going to feed him after I pat her. And then I'm going to go to the cafe and work on the computer and have some coffee. And then I don't know. But to start, let me introduce you once again to the Better Days Mental Health Recovery Workbook. Okay, page 52, resiliency, see, maybe you can't, but I can't, so I'm going to read it. Resiliency, ah, and think about this like, um, you could do this by yourself, like I am right now, uh, you can talk about this stuff with a friend or anybody else who you talk with about coping with life. And stuff and hard, I was going to say S-H-I, hard things or stuff, stuff. Or you can sit around with people or have a group, a peer support group or anything you want. Whatever you do, I don't care. Other than that I care that you do something. So here goes. Resiliency. What is resilience? Hmm. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines resilience as, quote, an ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. Let me stop myself right there. Stop, stop this whole thing right now and say, what is resilience for me? Or answer that question. Whew. Well, I know why I wrote this passage. And it's because... People who go through tough stuff, people who are hurt, people who are trying to cope with life, we are told that we are resilient by others. I freaking hate the word resiliency. Excuse me for that, saying the word hate. I don't like to say that. I usually spell it H-A-T. Let me say it another way. I don't like that word and must spell it, even though you already heard me say it, H-A-T. Why don't I like it? Because it makes me feel bad. To think like that, to have those kind of ideas and to say those words. So um, in the future, I'm just going to try to spell it out. H-A-T-E, because I don't like that word. But what is resiliency? Like Merriam-Webster said, it's the it's the ability to, to get through really tough stuff and move forward. Yeah, great. Mm, power to you. But the most power you're going to find in resiliency is recognizing that other people aren't going to understand that you are not resilient by choice. And if you're not resilient by choice, it's not really a very nice pat on the back for your recovery journey. It's actually bullshit. Nevertheless, let's do this, right? Hey, I'd rather be straight up and honest with you about reality, about recovery, than try to feed you some sort of BS. Resiliency isn't something you want. It's something you become by the result of what happened to you and your decision, whether conscious or not, to get through it. So let's just call it what it is. It's bullshit when it comes from someone else. It doesn't matter. Their words are empty. What matters is that you know that you fought through all this stuff that you, that you did to get to this moment today. But I digress. Excuse me. Let's start right now and move forward with the passage, shall we? Let's do it. Like we said, what is resilience? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines resilience as an ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune and change. So, as it says here in the book, right? By definition, I am resilient. I'm able to recover from extreme hardship and pain. Obviously, 
I'm here right now doing this, right? Look at me. I got my hair cut yesterday. Looking pretty all right. Not because I chose to. So, However, being resilient isn't something to be taken for granted. I went off on my little rant two minutes ago because this pisses me off. And it should piss you off too if um, you've worked really hard and then you just get to be labeled resilient. F that. Excuse my language. Uh, but really... Own your power, own your struggle, and own the work you've done because that is what resiliency is. Excuse me, I get a little bit pissed off sometimes about this. But I digress. <laughs> Moving forward, right? Recovery is real. Ah. However, being resilient isn't something to be taken for granted. In my opinion, I'm a person recovering, a survivor, lived, lived experience, peer worker, or ex-peer worker, or whatever you want to call me, crazy person um, in order to be resilient a person must have suffered incredible pain hardship and difficulty sadly life forces us to be resilient and this happens when we face hardship pain and difficulty okay so listen this is the truth and most of you know this already I want to validate you the system often takes our resiliency for granted as if we could be treated badly, yet expected to bounce back because we always have in the past. You, me, all of us, we are not robots built to be treated as emotionless beings. Emotionless beings. We are human beings. All of us. Everyone watching this right now is a human being. I'm a human being. And we deserve to feel joy, pleasure, and satisfaction. Don't ever let anyone tell you that's not the truth. No matter how screwed up your life might be, you deserve good things. You deserve good things. I'm sure of it. Believe it, please. It's true. But I digress. <laughs> While we are forced to be resilient, and everyone who's been told that we are resilient has been forced to be resilient. While we are forced to be resilient, our resiliency can act as a launching pad toward achieving our hopes dreams and desires that is the truth and I know you know it and if you have trouble believing it work on it because you have all the power you have all the power to change your life for the better you're the only one that can do it and you're the only one who can stop it or prevent it or slow it down take it from me <laughs> I've been through a living H-E-L-L -L and I'm still smiling <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Resiliency. Uh, uh. All right. The worksheet. Let's see. Re worksheet, right? In Espanol, hoja de trabajo. All right. Question one. Do you, do I feel that I'm a resilient person? I've already answered the question. Uh. Give one example describing how you are resilient. Okay. Uh, at least three times during the recording of this video, I've said to myself, you seem like a lunatic today, Craig, of Gregorio. Maybe you should just start over. But uh, then I said, no, I'm doing good. Um, I'm just going to let those thoughts inside my head kind of pass because I'm, I'm thinking about them right now too. Now, did I really go too far by saying it? Or is it okay? Um, well, I mean, I guess it's okay because what the F? I'm a human being. I'm just going to be the truth that I am. So that's what happened. I'm going to uh, answer the two other questions. Follow the other plan of what I'm going to do. Patting the cat, feeding the cat, and going to get coffee and all that. And I'm going to be okay and publish this video. And I'm going to be okay. That's, that's resiliency. Ugh. List two experiences that I've had in my life where I bounced back from an extreme hardship or difficulty. survived a brain injury I was homeless I lost my home I survived my brain injury and in, homeless in Europe and uh, I lost my cat Max the cat God bless him I lost my mind all my stuff I don't know if you can hear it, but the rain is happening right now. It's 
so that's uh, that the heavens crying so I'm gonna go with that uh, but yeah so what I lost all that stuff what I didn't lose is my heart and my smile and my willingness to fight through tough stuff so things can be better that's what I still have. And I have a lot more of that now than I ever did before, so resiliency. <laughs> okay, last question. List three hopes, dreams, and desires that you want to work toward achieving in my life. Um, okay, wow. I haven't thought about this in a while. <laughs> in the immediate moment, um, <laughs> after I uh, pat the cat, and then feed the cat, and then <laughs> go to the cafe, um, I'd like to achieve that without getting soaking wet. That does sound like a jerk. But that's one thing I'd like to achieve. Uh, I'm hopefully going to see a good friend of mine this week. And I'm just going to be the best I can be. And like kick butt in all the right ways uh, that I can to uh, be, be awesome, I suppose. And like cherish all the good times. And, excuse me. Um, the question? Oh. Desire. Oh, desire? Mm. This, you know what? Listen, just because somebody is a peer worker or they're a credentialed mental health worker, these are hard questions to ask. So I'm going to say I don't have an answer right now to this. I'm just going to say thank you to everyone who, who <laughs> listens to this. Uh, Semi-stable persons call me 51% stable. Hey, that's doing a lot better than a lot of people, okay? <laughs> Including mental health workers. Yep, that's right. And so, yeah, it's okay to just be in the moment. It's okay to be okay. It's okay not to have an answer. It's okay not to know not what to do. It's okay to pat a cat, you know? <laughs> it's okay to be happy. And so, um, I guess that's my desire of something I want to achieve is contradicting myself first and then admitting that and then saying yeah my answer is um i'm just going to try to be happy and uh and continue to do my very best to treasure the gifts that i i have and to um turn all the gold in my life that i are that's already here in my life into even more precious gold i guess we'll say that not about money value it's about something completely different about the gold in the heart Better Days, a mental health recovery workbook written by Craig Lewis. That's me, because I survived the impossible. That's why that's how the book's called, uh, The Craig Lewis Guide to Survive the Impossible. However, my name's now Gregorio because I live in Mexico, and it's hard to say Craig, and I like the name Craig anyways, so, <laughs> soy Gregorio. Mucho gusto. You can go to my website if you find this uh, entertaining, informative, helpful, or for some other reason. And uh, you can find these books there and other things as well. Sanity of the full time job dot org slash collections. This guy hopes you have a better day. Hugs. Peace. Up the punks!